Hey guys, this is Down Phoenix, and welcome to another episode of what I'm playing. Today I am playing Box Boy and Box Girl for the Nintendo Switch, brought to us by HAL Laboratories, which you guys might know from such games as Super Smash Bros. and Kirby, among many others. HAL Laboratories is one of the most prestigious developers at Nintendo, and they've been making games for a long time. And Box Boy and Box Girl is a bit of a departure compared to their recent output uh, from recent times because the game is a lot simpler. This is actually an eShop only game from what I understand. And it's only 10 bucks. So that, again, that's a, a big outlier as far as Nintendo goes. Um, basically, this game is a platforming puzzle type game. And, uh, well, it's more like a plat more of a puzzle game than a platformer, I suppose. But it's got a really interesting premise. You can play as the guy or the girl, and you can customize them in that little shop there to the right. You know, you can get them different parts and whatever. But it's a very simplistic game. I'll go ahead and show off some of the early stages just to kind of give you guys, like, an idea of how it's going. I'm on, like, World 12 or 11 or something like that now, so I've actually got some pretty good progress, but... You know, of course, right here, it's just showing us what we got to do as far as platforming and creating a block, of course, which you got to do that in order to, you know, <laughs> get up there because we can't jump high enough without the block. So it's got a very simplistic premise as far as that. And, you know, the thing is, like, at the same time, even though it's a simplistic premise, it has a lot of depth to it, you know, and it's a very easy to pick up and play game. We'll play a little bit later stage here, just so you can see what a stage that's slightly more challenging in this world will have. You'll notice it has a box limit that limits how many boxes we can generate at once, and you get the best ranking by doing a combination of using the fewest possible blocks that you can, as well as, of course, um... I don't need to really do that, do I? I probably didn't even need to create that many. But, um, yeah, that being said, it, it's a pretty simplistic game. It's not, not too challenging, really, to play. But it does have a lot of depth, and they do a really good job of introducing the player to the individual mechanics and getting you used to playing this particular game. We're going to go ahead and move on to a more challenging world, one that's going to introduce us some new mechanics, you know, because that's kind of a basic thing as far as that. There is a simplistic storyline which involves these meteors and you got to save your family and all this stuff, you know, but, uh, you know, I don't want to go too much into that. So let's go ahead and go into another stage here. Um, like I said, it, it does a really good job of introducing the mechanics in kind of a drip feed format. As a matter of fact, each stage will do that so like right here this is like one of those simplistic puzzles like this you know you have to leave your blocks there so you can pass through the door and then of course you can eventually get rid of them okay so actually hold on one second here i'm trying to figure out how i can do this okay no i'm gonna have to create the stair step thing so that's what i gotta do so i can keep the door open uh, now you'll notice these crowns like i said the crowns are useful in order to get the best possible score but you kind of have to get the crowns if you know what i mean like it's you know if you want the best possible score but uh, i think i can jump there yep okay i probably did that one pretty good there but it will give you a score ranking and whatnot now if it's a stage that you've played like these i've already played clearly it will give you a ranking that's actually a whole score thing otherwise if you just play through a new stage it will just um, tell you like what your rankings are as far as that but because i've already played these stages you know it's gonna give me like the overall score because it encourages speed running and efficient gameplay and whatnot you know and, and very creative gameplay so with that right there that just introduces blocks that can kill you <laughs> so uh you don't want to mess with those this is a kind of an interesting little format right here as a matter of fact, I will see... Okay, so clear using max 24 blocks. Let's see if I can actually beat this and do it in the uh, manner that they want me to. Now, this is going to be a lot more intricate because it's introducing a six-block limit 
and also the ability to grab onto ledges using our blocks. So this will be pretty interesting how we can do that. Okay, that's, yeah, that didn't work at all. Let's restart the stage. <laughs> okay. So I'm not 100% sure how I can go about this one here. I think I might just make a staircase. And you can manipulate it in a certain way to where you can, yeah, that's not gonna work either. So you have to be really good about how you want to manipulate the blocks. Yeah, that's that's not tall enough. But if I make it too tall, it's not gonna reach either. So, um... We kinda have to do something like this to get our way up there. Not really the most elegant solution, but it works. Okay. I think I can make this jump. I don't know. I don't think I will, though. Yeah, it's not enough. Okay. But you get the kind of the general gist of that. We're going to try it one more time. I should be able to do it a little bit better now. Okay. Yeah, we'll just see how this goes. Okay. Because I can actually snake my guy... To grab it. Ah, great. That's not what I wanted it to do. Okay. Whatever. You get the idea. We're just gonna bypass this stage all together. Because <laughs> I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do there. But it's not a huge deal. I don't really care. I just want to kind of show you guys a little bit of gameplay. This is a really cool little game. Like I said, if you like these kind of puzzle platforming games, I definitely recommend checking out box boy and box girls matter of fact i think if i'm not mistaken if you got like a 3ds or whatever i think they have uh just box boy on the 3ds and um you know so this is kind of like something that is an enhanced version of that it doesn't use the dual screen functionality but from what i understand the dual screen functionality is kind of useless in that original game at least from what i've seen so right here, I've got these lasers that could potentially kill me. So I gotta create a block to uh, safely get through. And I can use the same block to block that. So it only counts as one box used. Uh, you definitely want to use the minimal possible boxes that you can. Yeah, cause we have to have that block there. Okay. And now we have to figure out a way that, hmm, how can we grab all of these things at the same time? So this is where you get a little bit of a challenge here, but we can figure out a solution, most definitely. So let's see here. We gotta drop. Um, I'm gonna drop one right here. Okay. Uh, that didn't work out like I intended. Hmm. Okay. So yeah, that's a little bit of a tricky one to get to. But I think I've got an idea. We'll just go ahead and reset it. Okay. So we'll try this again. I want to try to get that crown. I don't know if I ever actually grabbed the crown on this one or not. Oh, yeah, that's right. I can do the Okay, I totally forgot that you can do that. Because it does introduce these new mechanics. Like, in the previous world, I think, is where it introduces that whole jumping thing that I can do there. So I definitely can work something out, I am sure. So let's try this again. Um, what can I do here? Yeah, we're just going to do the staircase. That's just the safest thing to do there. Okay. So now... That won't work. That won't either. But this would. Ah, it would have worked at least. Okay, let's try that one more time. I think I've got this down now. 
Okay, this this is just a really addictive little game. I've really been digging it. Whenever I haven't been playing Civ 6, I've been playing this game on my Switch. It's pretty interesting. And so I like these kinds of games, you know, these games that really make you think. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, so I, I my problem there is you're not supposed to actually let go of the button because once you do, the block solidifies. So I just gotta grab it and just begin my jumping. Simple as that. Okay. So I think seven blocks should be sufficient. Okay, for some reason I can't jump with this set. I, I don't understand. Is it because I have a block under me? Is that what's preventing it? I'm not really sure. I need to test that out sometime. I think that might actually be what's causing the problem there. Maybe I can't do the jumping thing with a block under me like that. Because it doesn't seem like it wants to work that way. Hmm, okay. Let's see what the hint says. The hint will tell you what you can do to just simply surpass it, which, yeah, I can build one of those kinds of blocks and jump across, but then I won't be able to get the crown, which is what I want to do here. But wait, let me check that hint again. Because it shows that I'm under it. Right there. So he's somehow able to make it under that. Hmm, okay. What if I do this? No, that's not gonna work because it'll just get me killed. I have to do it this way, so I don't understand why it won't let me do it that way. Maybe I need to do it a little bit off the edge a little bit. Yeah, see, like I can't jump for some reason there. It was letting me do it beforehand. I need to test it somewhere else, because I don't understand why it's not letting me jump there. Like, the blocks won't behave in that manner. Like, it lets me jump with one or, like, two blocks. I can do that, see? But, like, as soon as I try to do that, I can't do it. Well, anyways, I'll try to figure that out sometime, but this is a really cool little game. So, if you like these kinds of games and you're smarter than me definitely check it out uh but thank you very much for checking out this video um till then down phoenix out